Bruh. Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3, and we're going to be playing on the Desert Cross. This is going to be the AI battle. Many of you guys have already requested uh, how to basically do the AI, since this is way different than what you guys normally played. Uh, and this is the second year uh, of this AI. The first year was last year, and it was extremely difficult. They basically made it a little bit easier. But it's still pretty hard for those newbies who, who just came to the game. Uh, and so I'm going to be making this guide for those uh, for those who basically, you know, just want some extra tips on this AI. So basically, we start off with a good base deployment. So a few supply centers, power plants, upgrading your HQ as usual. You position your units up uh, in front of you. And I, I usually send two coyotes and a few riflemen to get the containers so I can advance my base quicker. That's basically what I do. You could just send like those two coyotes alone or these few riflemen alone. I just send multiple so I can do it quicker. And then I usually send a bunch of them to see the defense. So here, you guys see how there's a blue shield? That basically means the buildings have been reinforced. So it's extremely hard to take down those buildings. The point of this AI is to capture those uh, pumpkins. <laughs> Basically just like the, the tournament. Pumpkin tournament. Uh, the point is not to destroy the, bi the building, which of course you can do, but it's really hard. Uh, but I'm going to be basically showing you guys how to win by capturing the pumpkins. That's what this guide's going to be like. Okay. So we can see my ally is having a little bit of a trouble collecting these containers. So, I mean, there's a f bunch of fortresses, some heavy assaults. So yeah, always be wary of that. If there's a if there's enemy units, don't try to engage them. Just collect the containers and escape. Getting my 4th and 5th supply center out. Upgrading my HQ, of course. Now, there used to be a container right there, as you guys saw. But the ticker went from 0 out of 15 to 1 out of 15. You guys see the ticker at the top, uh, right near like the, t the battle time and CP. That is for the AI. The 0 out of 10 is for our team. Basically, our team has to collect 10 containers before the AI collects 15. That's how it works. Uh, it actually used to be 10 out of 10, but they nerfed it because the AI was so strong. So now it's 15, zero, yeah, 15 out of 15. Okay, so basically, we're gonna have to make a pretty good... Okay, so there's a pumpkin here. I'm laying some mines, so the the AI won't be able to collect this container. Basically, you guys see how the, the units are green? The green units will attack the pumpkin. The blue units will attack your base. That's how this functions. So, always attack the green units first, because the point of this AI is to collect the pumpkins. I mean, of course, you gotta defend, but attack the green uh, units because like you need to collect those pumpkins Bad pumpkin. Oh bad pumpkin Okay, so what did that pumpkin do? Did the pumpkin really do anything? Oh No, no the pumpkin dealt some damage to my units. I think huh. Well my <laughs> my ally is getting hit hard again this is a random ally i just wanted to go with someone so i can show you what you can do even if you're if even if your ally isn't really the best because this is in this is in uh this is a pretty versatile guide I'm making okay so there's a pumpkin that spawned right there 
technically we're winning because we're one out of 10 instead of one out of 15. But, I mean, we don't have a force strong enough to engage the enemies right now. So I'm basically going to try and uh, build up the base, get some good units, and then we can attack. That's basically my game plan. There's a lot of heavy assaults. Heavy assaults shred armadillos. So I, am, I sent my uh, coyotes to help. Coyotes are pretty good. Coyote. Okay, we'll, we'll fast forward it. Another pumpkin spawned right there, but we don't have a force big enough. Okay, they're attacking me right there. I sent in some of my coyotes to take the fire of the blue units so my gun tower won't be lost. There we go, nicely done. Gonna lay some mines uh, over there to help. Again, the point is not to defend, so laying mines is pretty good. It's cheap and it's, it's effective. So I can more, more over put my resources into building some units instead of spamming defense buildings. No, that, that takes way too many resources. Just put a little bit of mines and you're good to go. Just make some units and yeah. Okay, we'll fast forward this 10 times. I basically engaged with two hawks. Trying to take down as many units as possible. But the green army is too big. Uh, and they already have a typhoon. So I can't really can't really do anything. We see that there's another blue army right there. Uh I got mines, so. Nice. And this attack is gone. So yeah, see, mines is a really cheap and effective uh, use for defending. So just just put some mines, a gun tower, an anti-air tower, and it's fine. Fine. You can just put some units. And I I right now have a pretty decent army size that I can collect a container or maybe a few. So let's fast forward. So once I have a big enough army, I can move over here. Uh, basically the point of moving over here. So if a container spawns over there or over there, I can collect the container quicker because Jaguars are faster than Zeus and my units will be in a fortified position when the AI comes. And lucky for me, a pumpkin spawned right there. My units all are all are already in a pretty good position. Where are the green units? Green units should be anywhere. Right there. Right on time, green. Right on time. I got a good pumpkin. Okay. It was basically like a 700 resource resource container. That resource container gave me 700 resources. 700. That's a lot of resources. 700 resources is equivalent to a hawk, a jaguar, and a porcupine, which is really good. And damn, that jaguar has its barrel pointed upwards. Dang, <laughs> that kind of looks hilarious. Okay, but after I captured the container, the AI units are moving back. Basically, the AI units will double tap if there's a container on the field. If there isn't a container on the field, it will single tap away. That's how the green AI will work. The blue AI will always double tap because it's focused on destroying you, not collecting the containers. So keep that in mind, it might come in handy. We'll fast forward again. This time the pumpkin is here. That's a good pumpkin. It just reinforced all of those units. So look at that. Units are taking 50% less damage, I think. 
Yeah, 50%. He has no units over here to defend, so I'm gonna have to send in my Hawks. I got a pretty decent army size. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty good. A pumpkin spawn right there, and I'm in a really good position. Really good. Five, five by two for Jaguars, which is a pretty good position. I'm able to take down a lot of units. That's a good pumpkin. I got some loot boxes. Loot boxes you can open after the battle, uh, and it contains a couple credits, maybe some gold, some tokens, some boosts. So they're pretty good. Gives you some free stuff in the game. And nice. I didn't lose any units. Let's go. Okay, blue is attacking once again. But I got my hawks on the scene. Okay. Let's fast forward. Green is attacking me. Instead of the the container. Now, remember, the AI is dumb. Remember how I said the AI will double tap? Apparently, the units were over here when it double tapped. So, it just found the closest way over here. Because, you know, units are bad at pathfinding. So, it came over here to go over the cliff. And since it's a double tap, it'll stop and engage any units it finds in its way. So, it's attacking me. Instead of the container. So the, the AI is kind of dumb. You can bait the AI like that to split its forces while you can collect the container. That's another tactic you can use. Now the blue AI is here. Blue AI will not stop until it crushes you. Or until it dies, so. Yeah. Also, dang, look at that Jaguar on top of a Jaguar. Dang. Pathfinding bug, lol. Okay, so, fast forward. It was a good pumpkin, it gave me some units. Mammoth, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, boom. Beautiful. Blue is attacking me once again, lol. Okay, so there's a pumpkin there. I have to move, but I won't be able to take down that pumpkin. Oh, that was a bad pumpkin. Bad, bad, bad. Reinforce the AI, which is really, really bad. But I do have a pretty decent force. A force strong enough to hold out this area. Okay, so I put my units in a fortification position. Oh, good pumpkin. Got some resource containers. 300, 200. 200. Pretty good. We're basically 6 out of 10 to 8 out of 15. I think we're actually winning, are we? I don't know. But, yeah, let's go. Bad pumpkin. Ooh. Spawn some enemy units here. But we got a bunch of Jaguars, Armadillos. We were able to take down those units pretty easily. Now we're winning at 7 out of 10 to 8 out of 15 pretty easily. Basically, all we have to do is collect three more containers, and we win. And we win. Simple as that. I'm camping out at this position. Okay, come on. Can we get this container? Oh, we can't. There's way too much. Uh... Oof, that's a lot of units. That's a lot of units. Green is retreating, but blue is attacking. Blue just wants to crush me. So 
So I attack blue with my hawks. There's a lot of typhoons there though. So, yeah. Ooh, there's a pumpkin right there. How lucky. How lucky. Pumpkin spawned right behind the wall of jaguars I have. I don't have any porcupines. But I... Wait, where's... Yeah, where where are my porcupines? Got a good, pump, uh, good pumpkin. A resource container. Pretty nice. We just need two more pumpkins. Let's go, let's go. There's another pumpkin right there. Come on, just hold it out. Just hold it out. The main force is coming in slowly. We just gotta hold it. Just hold it. Come on. Good pumpkin. Nice. I got some heavy troops. Yo. That's a pretty good pumpkin. Wait. Okay, good. We just need one more pumpkin and we win. And we win. Was that pumpkin gonna spawn? Oh, it's right there. It's right there. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna win. Okay, so this is the guide to how to win the AI. It may take some time, uh, but I mean, you you can. It's it's kind of easy actually. Like all you have to do is spam some jaguars, porcupines, and stuff, and good game.